Okay, for this, I'm not going to say much through this entire thing, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause uh, at each slide. Well, I'm not going to pause. I'm just going to stay there for about three seconds. But what you should do, you should pause and then take a look at the object or whatever that's being displayed on the screen. And then you can make sure to go through a table and actually check, try to check off all the properties of life that we've gone through in class. So everything that you look at. So right now we're going to take the perspective as aliens visiting this unknown planet called the Earth. And we'll have picked up, <coughs> picked up a few samples of things. And then you have to determine if they are alive based on the characteristics of life. So have a table ready, but I'm going to go through this. If you just watch the video all the way through, it's going to go by really, really fast. So you make sure you pause when you see uh, each sample. So this is our perspective. We are aliens. Attention Central Command, data transmission from Milky Way Galaxy Alpha Centauri region, Earth sector. We have received the following information from our robot scouts in Earth's atmosphere. Prepare to receive. Over. Pictures and text provide clues, but it is difficult to decide which of these objects are or have ever been alive. Request immediate assistance in determining which of the following objects, on organ objects are organisms that live on Earth. Over. So here's the first sample, so make sure to pause the video. Here are the notes that we've collected. You need to determine if this thing is actually alive based on the observations. So pause at this point, check off everything on your table before you move on to the next sample. Sample two, stays still, squishy feel, absorbs water well, no visible mechanism for acquiring food at location Tokyo Bay. Determine if this thing is alive based on the characteristics of life. Go ahead and pause right now before you move on. Sample three. Is this alive? Check off all the properties of life that you can figure out. Next one. Sample four. Stands upright, must consume energy to survive. Round head part has finite lifespan, smooth and warm to the touch. Is it alive? Sample five, contains wealth of encoded information that is transmitted from generation to generation. Easily copies itself to form offspring, various colors. Sample six, stands upright, cannot tell if moving or not, shiny, smooth to touch, no reaction when touch, less than five centimeters tall. Sample seven, causes death of some organisms, contains genetic material and encased in protein coat, cannot easily survive by itself and makes copies of itself. Sample eight, many very similar individuals in this group, when split apart, daughter individuals closely resemble parent. Microscopic in size, found in ocean. Am I alive? Sample 9 and last sample. Many very similar individuals in this group. When split apart, daughter individuals closely resemble the parent. Microscopic in size and also found in the ocean. Go through your table of properties of life and make sure you can figure out if each of these things was alive or not. I hope you've enjoyed this trip to Planet Earth.